Puzzle Research, this is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir, it's, it's just, it's been, yes, quite some time. Uh-huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir, I agree, sir. Oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. I'll be on the next plane to... Wait, where? Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Population 754. Temperature, hmm. It's cold and not much to look at. According to the agency, there's some kind of situ inci thing going on at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. There's a weird man staring at me. Hopefully, this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> Agent Tethers out. Oh, I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. Excuse me, 
I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Hello? Yep. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. Bjorn? Yep. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? Yep. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. Must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh, I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Welcome. I'm here to investigate an incident at the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Do you know anything about it? No. Hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? Yep. Really? Can you describe them? Skinny. Asks lots of questions. Wears a stupid hat. Thanks for the tip. Yep. Discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. These are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear, I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative, though.
Well, one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Hello. Well, hello there, mister. Welcome to Valda's Inn. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm Nelson Tethers. I have a reservation. Oh, yeah. You're here about the Eraser Factory, eh? We're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. It's just like TV, yeah? Ooh, I'm gonna make some hot dish for you later. A uh, hot dish? Oh, you'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. So, uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay. I've got your room right here. Oh, dear. This is so embarrassing. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. Hmm. Mind if I have a look? I bet I can figure out what room I'm in. Mrs. Garrett? Oh, yeah, now I see. Okay, then. Here's your room key, FBI man. Thanks. Actually, while I have you here, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I promise. Oh, yeah, of course. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh, dear. Our moose is cooked. Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of... We like to double-check things. Oh, of course. Well, it's easy. I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. You know, our Scoggins erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll happen. Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident, huh? Accident? Oh, yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Is that so? Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, little creatures that live in the woods around the factory. Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. The guy in the lobby, is he okay? Oh, that's Bo Murphy. He's always been a bit of an odd one. Yeah, he sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself, and I bring him some food from time to time. Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Thanks. Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? Nope. Gum helps me concentrate. Excuse me, you look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles.
Maybe you can relax a little. With the uh, whispers, <laughs> if it's an acrostical enigma, maybe it's a, a Baltimore trans deletion. <laughs> the whispers? Or not. Got any more puzzles? Brains always thinking, thinking about puzzles. I'll just check in on you later. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean, probably of no consequence. Hmm, winner undeclared in local contest. That was a tricky one. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether is out. Am I supposed to be saying that?
Hmm. Interesting. Out at their eraser factory, the doors to the factory are very locked. Some sort of custom-built contraption has got this place locked up tighter than Fort Knox. The device seems damaged, though. It seems to be missing a piece. Hi, Sheriff Bog. Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle. Agent Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh, yes. It's going to be a while before we can get this factory running again. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in a right pickle. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI boy. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. What happened? There was an explosion. What? Oh, yeah. A big explosion. And the foreman just never came home. What happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there, uh, is there a body? No, nope. he's just gone. Isaac Davner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. Well. That's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. So it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? That's right, sir. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know.
there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Hmm, good point. Maybe they grew back. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? I have some files related to the case that you might be able to help me with. Oh, okay, but I really think... Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. Meet you at the Moose Ear in a bit.